Okay guys, so as you can see we have a pretty snowy day out there and uh, honestly I can't ice fish every single day. So I thought we would finally get to my kitchen. I've got four perch and a pickerel from like four or five different outings. In fact, uh, one of them was from an outing that maybe I'll just show you right now. Uh, a disastrous outing where I went to one spot, it, there was no one there, the ice was looking sketchy, so I went back to White Pond for like the third time this year. Didn't catch anything, the weather was miserable, and uh, but when I got there some guy just like gave me a perch, so we're, we got that one here too. So the idea today is fish sticks. I researched a couple ways to make fish sticks, but I think I just, in the spirit of being me and wanting to just be experimental, um, I have a kind of a different idea. What I want to do is actually kind of, instead of like cut the fish into strips and then put like a batter on the outside, I want to blend the fish with the flour and the breadcrumbs and the eggs, I guess. I want to blend it up. I want to put it into the, the stick shape. I want to freeze it just so that it holds that shape and then I'm going to deep fry it. That's my idea. Never done it before. I haven't even looked into like whether this is something people do or whether this works, but I just have an inkling. I had a dream. Yeah, let's just say I had a dream that this is going to work. Um, I got tartar sauce, all that stuff, but first we need to uh, fillet these fish. Um, because I'm blending it, I don't really, it doesn't have to be pretty. I just have to make sure to get the bones out. So I'm not a good filleter. I'm not gonna get any better today, suddenly, but we're just gonna do the best we can, get those bones out of there, blend it, etc. Now the pickerel, cause I've never tried a pickerel before, I'm gonna save half of the pickerel to just like, uh, to just cook in a more traditional way, just cause I wanna really know what the pickerel tastes like. The rest of the pickerel will combine with the four perch and mix it with all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's get this ball rolling and make some fish sticks. Alright, I got two nice pickerel fillets here, and guys, you know what? I can't get those bones out. I, I watched a video where they had a much larger fish. It was much easier to do this like Y cut kind of thing. I don't I just don't have confidence. I don't have confidence, so we're gonna just save these and we'll uh cook them separately. We'll uh use the perch for the fish sticks. Okay, so that seems like a pretty boneless, albeit small perch fillet. So I'm just gonna, I'm putting this stuff, I, I, when I say blend, I mean blend. I'm gonna straight up blend it in a blender. Boneless, of course you gotta give a little to the cat. Psst, psst. No, right there. Look, no, not the knife. Oh, you fool, he doesn't even want it. All right, so I kind of suck with pickerel, but I, I get the whole perch thing and walleye, I can do that. I don't think there's any bones in here. All right, well, surprising how little meat four nice sized perch will produce, but um, I, I, you know, again, I butchered them, but I did a good job of getting all the meat uh, and none of the bones. Uh, of course, we took the skin off as well. Uh, if you want to take another look at our pickerel, I got to practice maybe with a bigger uh, fish of this, uh, of this ilk uh, with taking out the uh, Y bone, but it does look like two pretty good hunks of meat. I think I'm just gonna like bake them with like oil and salt and pepper, maybe a little lemon. So that's the idea with that. And we'll do some perch sticks. So coming up is the fun part where we actually are gonna blend it. Okay, so into our fish, we're gonna put, uh, I don't know, that much flour. You know what, maybe not that much. That much, that much. Bread crumbs, bread crumbs. Let's put, uh, maybe that many, that much. All right, now we want an egg. I'm just gonna do one egg for now. We'll see, we'll blend it. We'll see how it turns out. Maybe add another, I don't know. Oh, no shell, no shell. I think we're good. It'll blend out anyway. 
Okay, the old blend tech of will it blend fame. Let's see, what should we do? Ice cream, frozen yogurt, ice crushed milk shake, soup, syrups, fondue, sauces, dips, dressings, batters, whole juice, smoothie. Doesn't say fish sticks on here anywhere. Let's just press pulse. <laughs> You know what, but I like that consistency. It's kind of what I was going for, right? And it's it seems pretty well blended even though I really didn't mix it for too long. You know what, let's just go with it. Let's, let's just go with it. All right, so I just lined this pan with parchment paper. I'm just gonna hand mold my fish sticks, put them on here, and then put it in the freezer for a couple hours. All right, so handful, make a little, make a little stick out of it. There we go. Look at that fish stick. I think I'm on to something here. I did end up scraping a little more pickerel off the the, uh, the bone and the skin. So there is a little bit of pickerel in here, by the way, folks. Seems like the fish is evenly distributed from the top to the bottom, which is good. Okay. So, 11. 11 fish sticks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Cranking it up to 11. Okay, so I'm going to put these bad boys in the downstairs freezer because there's no room up here. And uh, they'll remain there for a couple hours. Then we'll get the oil all heated up and we're going to try to fry them. I, th I think this will turn out okay. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Okay, guys. So we're going to get to the fish sticks in a second. I actually ate them already, but you're going to have to wait. Because this is the pickerel R. These are the pickerel fillets. They do have bones. I think I told you earlier, it was just, it was too tough, too tough to get them out. But I'm really, this one I just really want to see what pickerel tastes like because I've never done it before. It's just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Cooked for like, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Baked. All right, pickerel, here we go. Hmm. Um, a very, very mild, much more mild than I was expecting. Um, a very mild flavor, of course, enhanced by the salt, pepper, and olive oil. Maybe that first bite was just an anomaly, but weird. I mean, it's perfectly fine if you're looking for a, a, a protein fix, you know, um, but there's not too much flavor to it. It is good though. It's savory. I'm trying to think of a texture word for you, by the way. I haven't got any bones in those bites. Or maybe they cooked out. It's got a little give to it. It's it's kind of, actually the texture might be the best thing of all. It's kind of that perfect medium between, you know, it's got a little a little give, a little elasticity, but it's also uh, kind of firm. Hey, pickerel, don't sleep on pickerel. Pickerel's fine. Don't believe them. What's going on? I haven't gotten any bones. Maybe with a pickerel, this, maybe this is the perfect size pickerel and they just kind of disintegrate. Um, this was like a, 18, 17, 18 inch pickerel. Oh, I'm very happy with this. It's it's unoffensive. It's a good it's a good starter fish for if you're if you're not really into seafood because, you know, it's really just just a protein. If you don't like that fish flavor, I'm not getting it here. I'm not getting it here. I was really expecting to. Mm. Bone. All right, so maybe the bones were more on this side. Would my lovely camera woman like to try the pickerel? Sure. So there probably will be a bone. Okay. Mmm, 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 really good. Yeah, now we're getting bones. What do you, what, how would you describe it? What do you think? I think you're right. Like, it's a very inoffensive, very mild. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. did you use any lemon? None. In it fact, I even has, said earlier that I was going to, and I didn't. It almost has a little bit any. of a citrus, like mm. a, like a fresh, fresh citrus. citrus flavor. Yeah, like okay. I'm getting a little. I mean, the. I, I mean, this isn't citrus, but the pepper definitely comes through. There's a, yeah, spi yeah. there's a spice from the pepper. I mean, the flavoring is great, but um, yeah, it's just very light, very inoffensive. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. And the texture is good, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, it's great. It's fine. I, and I would definitely eat pickerel again, 100%. I mean, I think if I catch a, a, a legal one again, I'll probably take it. Gotta pick a pickerel. Take your pick. <laughs> um, uh, and on to fishy sticks. Yes. So the pickerel was great, but I know what you're all waiting for. It's fish sticks. Let's do it. See you outside. Pew, 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 pew.
Okay, so we're outside again. I tried to cook wings uh, with this thing in my house for the Super Bowl and uh, it really reeked up the whole house for a few days. So back outside, even though these conditions are obviously not ideal, um, this is not what you should do at home if you have a deep fryer. I do not advise this for anyone, including myself, but I'm responsible for my own actions. Uh, I don't have kids that are gonna run past here and boil themselves, scald themselves alive. So uh, yeah, so we heat this up to 350 and for frozen fish sticks, it looks like you wanna keep them in there for three to four minutes. So yeah, we just gotta wait for that light to turn off. One of the few things that you don't heat it up all the way to 375 for. Well, I turned off the camera for two seconds and the light went out. So, it means it's hot enough. Let's take the top off. Um, you usually do not, I've said this before, there's not much that you cook with the, the top on, especially stuff with high water content, which this def these fish sticks definitely have. Uh, by the way, these are frozen solid. They've been freezing for like four hours. Just realized putting these baskets down in the snow was a terrible idea. Two baskets. Okay, get ready for some sizzlage. All right, so it should be four minutes. All right, they're at about three minutes now and they're already looking pretty fried. I don't, you know, obviously I don't know what the inside looks like, but they look pretty brown. Um, I think I might take them off. I don't want them to be, like, burnt. Alright, that's three and a half. Let's, let's take them off. They look like little sausages. Little corn dogs. Alright, so I will turn this off and unplug. Extract my fish sticks. Now we put the cover back on and let this cool off and I'll come back out once it's room temperature or colder and I'll put it back in my garage. So that's the finished product right now. Let's go inside and taste it. How's my nose? Uh, boogers, but I'll shoot face on. All right, guys, we've got fish sticks, finished product, little store-bought tartar sauce here. I think it'll be good. I'm, I'm wondering if the cook, the cooking got to the, the middle, um, just because they went in there frozen. But I mean, obviously the outside looks almost a little too well done. But um, I'll test it without the tartar and then with the tartar. As Mitch Hedberg once said, I've got so much tartar, I don't have to dip my fish sticks in Of course, then he later clarified that he actually just has the normal amount of tartar. My wife is disgusted right now. All right, ready? Mmm, it's pretty good. It's, you know, it kind of reminds me of the row ball. It's a uh, hush puppy esque, to use a Long John Silver's reference. Um, it's pretty spongy. It's pretty spongy in the middle. I I, I don't know if that's the flour or the breading, but um, like a Rhode Island cra clam cake, maybe. Sure, just like a Rhode Island cra cra crab yeah clam cake. Um, yeah. But it, do, it definitely has a seafood essence. It definitely has that fish fish flavor. I know I probably sound like a broken record, but it's not too fishy. Um, but it's definitely, there's definitely fish in there. All right, let's try it with the, you know, it could use a little salt. I'll do the salt later. All right, tartar. Remember, Mitch Hedberg, no, just kidding, okay. Oh yeah, the, the tartar kicks it up a notch. You know what, hold on, I am gonna put a little salt. All right, salted. Tartar. These are good fish sticks. Oh yeah, I could eat these all day. I think I'm really onto something here. I came up with something good. They're crispy on the outside, spongy on the inside. Not uh, not too spongy, you know. It still tastes like it's still got a food texture. Um, would my lovely camera woman like to try one? Yes. And just to clarify, I wasn't making a disgusted face. I was trying not to laugh so I didn't overwhelm the filmings. I thought it was Understood. funny. Mm. No no jokes, mm -hmm. no Mitch Hedberg jokes around. What do you think? No, it's very much like a Rhode Island clam cake okay. without the clams in it. All right, like, well, if you've ever had one of those, mm -hmm. and maybe you know what she's talking about. My description's pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, very good. Anything you'd like to add as far as texture, flavor? There's a lightness about it. Mm -hmm. Like it's fluffy, it's, it's nice. Maybe we could work, you know, next time, maybe more fish content would give it less of a sponginess, a little more protein, a little more firm, but um. I, I mean, I, I like this a lot. Good. Yeah. And hush puppy kind of, right? Mm -hmm. Getting yeah. that vibe? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so the verdict is in. Two thumbs up for these uh, blended fish sticks. Um, by the time you see this, even though I'm doing this out of order, um, we already tried the pickerel. Mmm, that sure was good, wasn't it? Um, and uh, now we're done. So hope you like that one. I'll try to do a, a little bit more cooking in the future. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below if it looks good, if it looks disgusting, I don't care. But please like, please subscribe, and as always, fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.